the tutorial on deleting cookies from your Chrome browser. This tutorial is being run on a MacBook Pro running OS X 10.12 for Mac Sierra. And my version of the Chrome browser is something like 54.280.71. Cookies are small pieces of data that websites leave in your browser so that they can present a seamless experience to you across sessions. So when you go back to a website a day later or a week later, they can personalize the content as if you have been there the entire time. They're able to know that it's you visiting the website because of the data that's stored in your browser. Periodically, as part of good privacy hygiene, if you would like to reduce the amount of ability for a website to track you, um, then what you can do is you can delete your cookies. And the way that you do that on the um, Chrome browser is to go into the Preferences pane under uh, Command Comma and click on Advanced Settings. And to see the cookies that are currently present, what you can do is you can go under your Content Settings and look at all cookies and site data. And here you'll see possibly hundreds of different cookies from websites that are storing information on you. To clear the cookies, you can do, um, you do a couple step process. You can click, all, click on this um, part about managing cookies, and you can click all, sorry, that was the one we just looked at. You can go back one stage to the preferences pane. You can click on clear browsing data. Here you can have the option of clearing many different kinds of uh, data that the websites store on your browser. You can choose what period of time you're interested in. So I'm going to clear everything from the beginning of time. I like to have my browsing history because I often refer to that in order to find pages that I've seen before. But I'm going to go ahead and delete my download history, which is a record of all the things I've downloaded. The cookies and other site plugin data, that's one kind of information that websites store on your browser. I'm going to remove all cached images and files. So your, your browser keeps some commonly accessed images and files. Uh, to make it faster the next time you go to a website. These will be replaced very quickly. I'm going to keep my passwords because it's convenient for me to have Chrome reload my passwords, and that's something that's um, not shared with the, uh, with the websites necessarily. I like having my form data filled in. I'm going to delete my hosted app data. That means data that is being stored by websites that are running bits of Java code, JavaScript in your um, computer. Uh, and then finally, I'm going to delete media licenses uh, which means I'm going to have to log into different websites again um, in some cases. In fact, by deleting cookies, I'm going to have to log into websites again um, because that persistent session across time is going to be removed. So I'm going to click these five things. I'm going to go ahead and hit clear browsing data. And there we go. Chrome will clear my browsing data. And then I'm going to go back and I'm just going to make sure that um, the cookies have actually been deleted. Sometimes not all the cookies get cleared. It's not clear to me exactly why not all of them get cleared, but I'm now in my preferences pane and I'm going to click on content settings. I'm going to look at all cookies and site data. I'll see that some of them remain and I'm not quite sure why, but I'm just going to go ahead and remove all of them. And then hit done. If I go back, hit done again. And now I go into content settings and I look at all cookies and site data. Uh, some of them have been put back already because I have other web browsers open right now that have immediately put a new cookie back onto my website, onto my browser. So that's the way that you can uh, manage some of your um, uh, privacy, and that's how you can clear cookies in Chrome web browser. Thank you.